All right, have at it. Comments on the top half. And then when we're ready to go below to academic, I can scroll down. Meanwhile, dinner. So your guys' review is pretty good so far. There's no objective. What I say about things like this is all these qualifications. First, what are you being qualified for? But second, these are all just like your opinions of yourself. Um, I have no reason to believe them. So this is just you talking yourself up. So here's uh, academics. And then we start employment history. So uh, let's look at the bullets. Do they give results? Analyze critical documents. Not a good, like, ugh. Starting with weak words, right? You're starting with weak verbs. Analyzed, coordinated, insured, facilitated. These are not big power words because they're not related to results. Nobody hires people to analyze, coordinate, and insure, even in a, as a risk consultant, right? Prevented, that's risk management. Discovered, that's, those are the type words. Prevented, discovered, I don't know, get out your thesaurus. Um, but yeah, this stuff has to go above the, the long list of qualifications at the top. Um, Santa Monica. Nice, by the way. I hope you enjoyed the beach there. Beautiful place. <clears throat> um, all right, let's show the next page. So we're multi-page here. Uh, key accomplishments. Twitch chat. Twitch chat. Have at it. Tell me. And I'll finish eating and we'll do another resume and we'll we'll flip over and see if you guys have put any questions in. And then we'll wrap it up in not too long. So this responsibility thing under them. So one thing you're going to have to be able to answer is like you were working at this company and now you're a postal carrier and like for a year and a little bit. It's just weird. It's hard to understand. Like, were you a post person or what? I need a little context. Like, I did this. Why were you working in this? And then responsibly and securely abided by and protected federal regulations and guidelines for mail delivery. That reads like, did my job. Didn't steal mail. You, you just never want to say things that are like, you know, I once got a terrible resume from a, it was really unfortunate. It was a guy trying to get a better job who had been a high school janitor. And he literally listed his, you know, work as like swept floors and cleaned high school. Yeah, you're a high school janitor. Like you're not unfortunately telling me anything. Right. Hephaestus correctly says, this reads like showed up 40 hours a week and collected a paycheck. It's just not strong. Social media manager. Yeah, it's definitely hard. Your resume's got a lot of things on it. Barista, barista, trainer, trainer, development plan for shift supervisor, Starbucks, five years. There's nothing wrong with working in Starbucks. Um, but I'm having trouble finding the thread of your career, which is why you really need an objective. So this resume... In the end, what are the main pieces of advice? Qualifications is taking up too much space. Remember, people read your resume from the top down and they only keep reading if the top is interesting. You have six bullet points that talk to me about what you believe about yourself and I've thrown your resume out or skipped over them. Uh, by the time I'm like, oh, it's a bunch of talking about yourself, move on. You want to lead with your strongest thing. And in your case, since your background is so mixed, you have to be clear about your objective. And then you need to be clear about your relevant experience. And then the, a lot of the rest of this goes down in it. And it needs to be shorter. And you've heard me tell people it's okay to be two pages. But you don't have enough. Like, you have a bunch of um, 
like temporary jobs or jobs that aren't relevant to what you want to do. And you need to condense those. Presuming you want to be in construction risk management, I only need to know a limited amount about you as a postal carrier and a social media manager and a barista. Um, you can shrink those and focus on w max two pages. All right. I'm going to take this down. Uh, but chat, you did a good job. I'm going to give chat collectively, which does not surprise me. The collective brain of chat is quite smart. I'm going to give chat at least a B plus, maybe higher. I didn't read everything. At least a B plus on resume reviews. So collectively, you know how to do it. Yeah, so Victor, if you don't think you have two pages worth, then you've got to stop trying to cram two pages of shit onto one page. So um, you, you, you have two choices, either two pages or decide what you can live without. But as it is, you have a congested, packed-in mass that is two pages of stuff shoved in one page. <laughs>